lady from the 39th district, Representative Scott. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to offer you a congratulations, Mr. Speaker, belated congratulations. Uh, four days ago, I forgot to congratulate you on Tax Freedom Day. April 20th, Mr. Speaker, is when citizens of our state reach Tax Freedom Day, which is the day that we finally get to stop paying for taxes and start earning for our families. That's right, from January 1st to April 20th in this state, our share of taxes from state, local, and federal taxes took till April 20th to pay off our share for this year. We are not a low tax state, Mr. Speaker. According to the nonpartisan Tax Foundation, we are the ninth highest burdened state in our country. That is what is causing our small businesses to go under. That is what is causing people like the man in Granite Falls to email me every day or two saying, please help me get work. Help me. He's in construction, Mr. Speaker, or rather he was. He's been out of work for two and a half years. He maxed out unemployment. He maxed out TANF. What's he going to do now? There's no money for gas, even to go to Arlington to look for a job. What is he going to do? How is he going to feed his wife and his two, te two teenagers? Mr. Speaker, the McCleary decision did say you need to fund education, but it also pointed out that we, the legislative body, get to define basic education, and we have extended and expanded that definition repeatedly over the last five or six years, repeatedly. We keep stretching the definition of what basic education is. That is part of our problem. We need to redefine basic education. Secondly, our, uh, the, the body on the other side of the hall there came up with a good budget that funded education without raising taxes. The House Republicans came up with a budget that funded education without raising taxes. This budget, on the other hand, funds education last and asks citizens to trust this trust account that we have schlepped money back and forth through these trust accounts multiple times, and now they're supposed to trust us that we're going to put this money in a trust account for education? And furthermore, let's talk about education reform. We need real education reform. Instead of pouring more and more money into a failing system, Mr. Speaker, 40% of the kids are not passing math and English tests on the NAEP. 40% of the kids in our state, 30% drop out. Half of the ones who finish and go on to community college have to take remedial math or English or both. I urge a no vote on this tax bill. Thank you.